or won the right to try to take my tribute away from me. <laughs> Boys, haven't I proven it as the weeks go and the weeks come that I will dismantle and destroy everyone and everything. I don't care if you're the right hand of God. I don't care if you're a corn-fed beast. I am an archaic monster. <laughs> and this is going nowhere. <laughs> Welcome to your damnation. <laughs> The Warden, and he's going up against young Derek Moss. Making his return to the UWC. And there's the bell. And the Warden not getting a great response from the fans. We do know that the Warden, sooner or later, will have to defend that belt. As we found out in the lethal lottery match a while back against both Bo Sawyer and Sam Knight. And you can see the Warden trying to come in and... Whoa, quick arm drag. Derek Moss is very quick. And again, down goes the Warden. <laughs> oh, the Warden's coming at him quickie. Atomic drop. Inverted atomic drop, clothesline. Warden Moss with a splash off the ropes and a cover. And I was able to see this young man, Mr. Moss early in his career out in the western central part of the state. And now he is certainly advanced getting some extra momentum. Comes back and runs right into the right hand. The Warden again with a second right hand. And a third right hand and down he goes. The warden is fist taped. He's a very odd individual now. Basically ripping the hair out by the roots. That mask on the warden, you never can tell exactly what's going through his head. But you can see what's going through Moss's head right now. It's a right hand. And he's landed that a few times with some real effectiveness. Brings him back up and lands again. And now Moss. And he's finding a way back up to his feet. He got off to a quick start against the Warden. And again, a right hand. And that's pretty much been what the Warden has done so far, is just, oh, now here, Moss fires back. The left, now an elbow, sends Moss down. It's been a while since I've seen Moss in action, but I can remember again getting his hair pulled out by the roots. I remember being very impressed with him when I first saw him over in the Springfield, Illinois area. And he has matured since then. It'll be interesting to see what type of wrestler he's become. Breaking out, a kick to the midsection, knee to the face, and a drop kick. Sends the Warden away, and the Warden not even allowing him to get a pinfall attempt. And the Warden says, no, no, no. Both on their knees, facing off the Moss, trying to figure out exactly what headbutt. Moss a little entranced by the Warden there. I wonder what's inside that mask, whether there's anything extra on those headbutts. But now just working the... The neck of the upper back now of Moss, just too far away from the ropes. It would be a good pelt in the trophy case of Moss, should he be able to get out of this. Trying to get some crowd support behind him. And the crowd trying to get support behind young Derek Moss as he works his way up. Elbow to the midsection, second elbow, tries to go to the ropes, pulled down by the hair. The 
referee warning the warden, but uh, you can be assured that the warden knows exactly what he's doing in the ring. And since he's won that title, he's just become, uh, I think, even more sadistic. Certainly effective with his sadism. And has been able to keep that title for quite some time. He did bring the uh, stick down to the ring with him. I don't know what he calls it, a bow stick or what, into the corner. Goes Moss. Well, what's, what's he doing? Kind of trying to figure out what he's going to do. Conlicks himself, drives in, gets caught, and driven directly into that top turnbuckle by Moss. Moss getting some momentum back and lands the flying knee in the corner. Trying to get some momentum again. Flying forearm, passes off the rope again, lands an elbow, and it's all Moss right now. The youngster trying to get some support from the crowd and he's going to try again off the ropes and this time tried to be met with a fist thrown out. Backcracker on the ropes and that could be all if he gets the cover gets him away from the ropes and he does good move by Moss cover one two and no rolled out. He had a cover but really didn't have the shoulders. he would like. He really has to put more pressure on the shoulders. And Moss getting ready to land a forearm. Nope. Blocked by Warden. Warden brings him up. There's that standing fireman's carry. And no. Warden. Moss backs out of it. Second kick. Spinning kick doesn't go. Into the ropes. Comes off. Flying forearm and Moss is down. And a cover. One, two, oh no. And a little more to Moss. I've been impressed with this young man, his ability. He's still young yet, still relatively inexperienced, but the, you can see the raw talent is there in the young man. Now the warden brings him up. Oh, a guillotine. No, rolled out of it. Spinning, discus punch. Down goes the warden. One, two. Oh, 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 oh. Almost. The warden was being very, very deliberate trying to get the guillotine neck breaker. And Moss worked his way out of it now. What's he trying to sit? Brain buster, he says. And the warden making his way to his feet. Sets him up. In the middle of the ring. It's going to be tough to get out of this one. And up. No. Blocked. Quick shot. Couple shots. A third shot to the kidneys. And. Whoa. Into that knee. Fireman's carry. That's it, folks. The Warden finds his way out of it. And uh, young Mr. Moss certainly put out a tremendous effort, but it was the Warden coming out victorious. Once again, working his way out. Uh, Derek Moss had all his way part of the match. All the momentum going toward Moss. But the Warden again pulls it off. And again, he's just getting more effective the longer he holds that title. How long will he hold the title, though? He's got that triple threat match coming up. Men. Well, I'm standing by right now with UWT official Sean Reif, who, well, basically this happened to you. Infinite power. Who is it? Jimmy Carrick. 
partner going to be? It's Sean Reif is going to be the fourth. All right hand, and Reif goes down. One, two, three, and there you have it. Now after seeing that, and knowing that it was anybody in the locker room that could be chosen for the lethal lottery, it sure was. How are you feeling now, man? I mean, it, it sounds like you're talking okay, but... Well, you know, I'm, in, I'm, I'm still in quite a bit of pain. You know, uh, I couldn't eat right for a couple days afterwards. Um, but I have much more respect for the things those athletes do out there. I mean, I'm no athlete myself, uh, but they put their bodies on the line out there. And I'm still hurting now, and I'm going to be taking this week off to heal up some more, because uh, I'm still sore. Like... The ice, the icy hot, you know, had welts on my chest. It was just painful. Well, it's good to see that you're still in good spirits and everything, but here's my question right now, and the one that everybody out there is wondering. You've had a taste of it. Nobody knows better than me, okay? But you have had a taste of it now. You know what in-the-ring competition is like. You've been on the other side. Would you do it again? Well, Stone, the body definitely says no. But uh, this heart right here, definitely. In a heartbeat, I would do it again. UWC Online, new episodes every Monday, youtube.com slash UWC Georgetown. There are a few things in this world that I really, really enjoy. Beating people up, winning championship belts, and making Travis Weir cry like a baby. And Dickie Wabash, if you stick your nose into this match, you're going to find out what a wise man once said. There's two kind of people in this world, rodents and rodent slappers, and you'll get slapped. Hoo! edition of UWC Online, Uncle Slam 2, Parker Dirge in the ring against Travis Weir. And they wrestled not that long ago in the black on a pole match, and the prize award on the pole match, and Harker Dirge got the win there. And I tend to think that Harker Dirge may be in the best physical shape of his, well, at least the time I've seen him, and it's been several years now. Travis Weir with the Dicky Wabash in the corner. And Wabash setting it intently. And now going chest to chest and knocking him away with that war cry as Arker Dirge and Weir comes right back up to him again. And right back again goes Travis Weir. Now Weir is a competitor. He certainly can do the job. But Harker Dirge he said maybe in the best shape of his life. And he may be wanting to get back in that championship picture sometime soon. And the arm ringer on Weir to start things off. Turns that wrist and adds a little extra twist. Weir backs him into the ropes and fires off. No clean break from Weir. And now Weir going for a couple of shoulder blasts to the midsection. Brings him back out into the far corner. Brings that arm. Is he going to sling him? Nope. Brings him in. And this is a concussive blow shoulder to shoulder with the person on the receiving end gets the worst of it because his shoulder is not in a position to take such a blow. And right down for a pinfall attempt and just a one as Dirge slips away. And right to the head, now back to the arm. Rings it again, does Weir. 
Getting some instruction from the outside from Dickie Wabash. Crowd getting behind Harker Dirge. Dirge rolls through. Kip up from Dirge. Look at this. And a reversal. Step over and takes him down. Nicely done into that arm bar. And that could be a submission right there. Doesn't quite have the torque he would like on it. And now he's got himself into a precarious pinning situation. And up and over. Now he's really got it cinched in. This could be all right here. This could be it. Nope. Brings him toward the middle of the ring. And really now working on that left arm. Both competitors have worked on the other's left arm. Now Weir tosses Dirge off. Swing and a miss. Dirge. Rock toe hold and down goes Weir. Lands on the arm and now works it into a hammerlock. And Dirge. Knees into that upper arm of Travis Weir, working that elbow, shoulder, working a hammer lock. Now takes his arm back so he can't get the ropes. And still ties up the arm with the legs. And just pounds with that forearm into the side of Travis Weir. This is a very bad situation for Weir. Dirge decides he's had enough. Now I'll try a pin attempt. You see that arm still trapped underneath Weir. And Weir goes right to the eyes. To get away from it. Now just barely uses that left arm. And now trying to work him across that top turnbuckle. Weir is a savvy enough wrestler to know he can't go move for move with Harker Dirge. Runs right into the boot. Dirge goes to the second rope. And a missile nails him. One, two. A missile shoulder block off that second rope. I can tell you that this, Harker Dirge is in some fine shape. He's really getting around quicker. Moving around very well, and that spells bad news for everybody in the UWC. Off the ropes, flying forearm, wobbles. We're in a drop kick by Dirge, and he runs into the elbow that time. And Dirge flying a little bit in this match. Oh, look at this. Brings him up, standing fireman's carry. And drops him across that top rope. Didn't quite get the neck. And finishes off. With a clothesline, Dirge is down next to the ropes. Two. Dirge able to kick out. And Dirge in that middle of the ropes now. We're using the weight advantage that he has. Not quite a camel clutch, but certainly working that neck. If he sat back a little bit, he could really cause some torque on that neck in the back. Now lands on the lower back. That caused extra problems because Dirge had his knees underneath him. And that actual bracing caused it to be even worse. Now working the face and neck of Dirge with some illegal moves is Travis Weir. Because I'm just working his shoulder. Now some quick short blows. And now, now working the eyes off of it. Dirge going to roll into it. It's not going to stay down there too long. Step over. Step over. Look at this. And works it over into. And a modified camel clutch. Nice job by Weir, but Dirge is able to pull his way out of it. Didn't cinch down hard enough. Once he got the knees under, it took a lot of the pressure off. Dirge, elbow, second elbow, third, double forearm to the back. Axe handle sends Dirge to the ropes, the second double axe handle. And now, working against that top rope, appears to be a choke. The referee, making sure he gets out of it. The winner of this could certainly be a top contender for that UWC title. 
Dirge locks it. Pounding the back. And now Dirge is woken up. Go oh, kick. Oh, flies into that turnbuckle. Another one. Is he going for a triple? Safe at third. Now a home run. He scores. Oh, hanging on to the top. And hits again, hanging on. Third time now. Cover. One, two, and no. Oh. <laughs> Just got the shoulders up. Hey, Travis Weir. Uh, Arca Dirge now more focused. Chopped to the top of the head. And a reversal. Dirge goes into the corner. Weir blasts him. And Dirge goes down. Quick cover by Weir. And it does roll the shoulder up. I don't think he really had that shoulder quite down. Dirge. Able to roll it up. Coming from behind. Gets him. It's not a bear hug or a submission. Swing and a miss. Now it's a bear hug. And that's not exactly what I believe Weir was planning for. Weir one step ahead of Dirge that time. This hold a little more effective when they're off the ground. But can still take a lot out of an athlete. Dirge going to try and hammer his way out of it. A second shot to the ear. And uh, Dirge lands a third, but not too much behind him. The thing is, ah, Dirge now coming to life a little bit. The problem with a bear hug so late in a match and a bell ringer gets him out of it is that it also drains the man putting the hold on. Kick, second kick, third kick, the midsection, and a left paint brushes. Travis Weir, Weir into the ropes, comes off, right hand to the gut, off the ropes, knee lift, and Dirge is on a roll now. Does it go up? Oh my, what's going on? Oh, no, no, no. Dickie Wabash grabs hold of Harker Dirge, and Dirge goes after him a little bit. And Weir's got something going on. Plants him. Oh, the cover. One, two. <laughs> wow. Weir must have thought he was done. The one thing we know about Harker Dirge, he's always got that extra, extra reserve. And he's dragging him to that corner. What's he setting up here? Is it going to be a splash? Goes up to the first rope. Goes up to the second rope. This is not good for anyone. Standing up on that second rope. Nobody home. Fired it a little too far. I thought he might have brought in Dirge a little too close for that one. And Dirge able to roll out of the way. When you get Dirge down, you cannot take your time. You have to realize what a luxury you have. And now, Dirge working his way up. Working his way up, right hand to the top of the head. Second right to the top of the head. And a third, and Weir is just stagging. Oh, catches the boot that time. Oh, gets him down, he goes. He's down, Dirge, looking to the crowd. Oh, top rope, Parker Dirge going to the top rope. Folks, this doesn't happen often. This doesn't happen often. Wabash can just look on, Dirge on the top rope. Cross body, down he goes. And Wabash is into it with the referee. Dirge is counting three, four, five, six. And uh, Wabash now getting chased off by Dirge. That's the second time he has interfered in this match. Something's going on in the ring. Weir's got something. Dirge, Dirge just got whacked and he's put it back. Referee doesn't see it. Dirge is down. One, two, oh no. Oh 
Moon. Can Mike Underwood, please. Mike Underwood, please. And one, two, three. Check those, check those tights, Mike Underwood. And Travis Weir has got the win. The referee is leaving the ring. Whoa, there it is. There it is. Dirge has that chain. Parker Dirge has a chain. Good night. And Travis Weir is down. He's got a W. He's also got a mark of a chain across his face, courtesy of Harker Dirge. And be assured that will not be the end of what he gets from Harker Dirge. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this edition of UWC Online. For all the folks in the back, all the wrestlers, I'm Eric Loy up in the crow's nest. We'll see you next time.